Civil society organizations, CSOs, have called on President Muhammad Buhari to immediately remove the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Abd Rashid Bawa, over what it describes as the incessant disobedience of court orders and the seeming politicization of the agency's activities. Addressing a press conference in Lagos on Friday, the anti-corruption body numbering over 40 led by comrade Olufemi Lawansin alleged that EFCC under Bauer brazenly disobeys court orders in such a manner that does not only undermine the institutions of Nigerian democracy but also indicates a contradiction to the anti-corruption agenda of the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. According to the anti graft bodies, the situation has reached an embarrassing height where the commission's boss, Bauer, has been committed to prison more than once within two months for clear breach of the extant orders of the court. Investors will only go to jurisdictions where the rule of law and respect for human rights are guaranteed and shunning countries where rule of men predominates. In the EFCC today, it's not about the rule of law. It's about the rule of men. It's about the wish of the chairman. It's about the wish of the leadership. Not even what the court says or what the law says. And we are saying enough is enough. It's even worrisome that the blatant disobedience to valid court order by Bauer led FCC is coming on the heels of effort by stakeholders to galvanize more support for the war against corruption in Nigeria. When there are troubles in the legislature, there are troubles in the executive, everybody look up to the judiciary as the last arbiter. So if we have a man that will continually disregard court orders and choose the one that benefits him, it's a signal that we're going to have a leadership or a government that will derail our democracy. And we are saying this cannot continue in our time. It is high time that it be shown the way out and let's bring on board someone that will be above board and that will be less political in all his approach and disregard for court judgments. At every interrogation conducted by EFCC, at every prosecution, he expects whoever is found guilty to go to prison. So we expect somebody like that to also test the prison. Where he's taking those people to, those people that have been convicted, they land themselves in prison. They should have gone there. I don't know why he's afraid. For three times now he has been convicted. For three times he has disobeyed. And so we are saying we will not tolerate this any further. And so Bawa must go. Bawa must go. The Lambasa the Commission for refusing to act on several petitions submitted to it, stressing that the EFCC seems to be allowing itself to be used as an instrument of political winch hunt targeting particular individuals. The CSOs declared that the culture of impunity, as consistently exhibited by the EFCC chairman, continues to ridicule Nigeria in the Committee of Nations and sabotage efforts at attracting foreign direct investment into the country. This is the same way the governor of the central bank started some years back and we all patched it on like it doesn't matter. We know where it has brought us at this time. We can also not afford to have an EFC chairman who does everything only for political correctness. If he wants to play politics, he should go and join any of the political parties. You cannot be chairman of a political, I mean of a, of a, of a body like EFCC and be used as an agent of which hunting members of other political parties or be flagging court orders. For the EFC to recover its past glory, it wants to trace its steps with the, with the present by overhauling its leadership and immediately asking Mr. Bauer to step down as the chairman of the EFCC. Once again, we say enough is enough. <laughs>